Hello, I'm Dane, and this is Dan Explains. I heard about this a few weeks ago, and I wanted to do a video about it, but I had difficulty finding the research paper to back it up. However, I finally tracked it down. Our group out of China released a preprint, so the paper hasn't gone through peer review yet. A few weeks ago, about SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus, which they found was 100% lethal in transgenic mice that have humanized ACE2 receptors. What is this virus, and should we be concerned about it? You're going to want to watch this one until the end. Let me explain why. A while back, some researchers out of Boston announced they had mixed original COVID-19 with the Omicron strain to create a 90% lethal version of COVID-19. People around the world were highly concerned that research like this was even being done. In a recent paper, the Chinese researchers, whose names aren't even going to try to pronounce, claimed to have discovered, or accidentally developed, a strain of coronavirus which is 100% lethal. Now, it's extremely important to point out that this virus, which they're calling GXP2V, short 3UTR, which for the rest of this video, I'm just going to call the GX virus for obvious reasons, is not a strain of COVID-19, but is a closely related coronavirus. The researchers don't exactly explain how they obtained the GX virus, but they say they identified a regular GXP2V virus in pangolins back in 2017. They were maintaining it in cell cultures. While the virus was in those cell cultures, one of the strains seems to have mutated to a 100% lethal form, at the same time acquiring a mutation where part of the genetic code was deleted, hence the use of the word short in the name. Now, they didn't state whether that mutation was the cause of the extreme lethality, so we can only speculate. To test the virus, they infected mice, which were genetically engineered to have human ACE2 receptors which theoretically gives the mice the same vulnerabilities to viruses as humans, or at least respiratory viruses. On a side note here, just like with the Boston study, the way they determine lethality is by infecting mice. Obviously, no humans were infected. To infect them, they put the solution with the virus up their noses, very similar to how someone would get infected by a common cold in the real world. The mice got regular cold-like symptoms within three days, flu-like symptoms by five days, and by day eight, they were all dead. When they examined the mice, they found that the mice most likely died because the virus was able to travel to the brain and cause meningitis. Up to this point, this does sound extremely concerning, especially with questions still surrounding the origin of another well-known virus. Luckily, I don't think we need to be too concerned about the GX virus, although the virus does cause pneumonia in mice that probably wouldn't have been lethal to them. Also, these genetically engineered mice aren't humans. They just have one aspect that is. So to say a virus is 100% lethal based on a mouse study is a big stretch. In fact, near the end of the paper, the researchers admit that the lethality was probably not due to the virus itself. Specifically, there were large amounts of humanized ACE2 receptors in the mice's brains. Normally, both humans and mice have very small amounts of ACE2 receptors in their brains. So, the fact that the virus was able to travel to the mouse's brain was due to the lack of specificity in the genetic engineering done to humanize them, and not something we would have to worry about in humans or even in other lab mice. So thankfully, this virus is nothing to worry about. And people, next time, please read the whole paper before taking to the streets to alert the world. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please press the like button. Subscribe to my channel and ding the bell to get notified when I post new videos. Also, please support me on Patreon to get extra content and special perks. Link in the description. The more people support me, the more time I can dedicate to making videos like this one. So, until next time, have a great week.